Well, today is a day where the weather is mimicking our mood because we are sad to leave Finland and the weather is also in a sad state. Now, keep in mind, we are hoping to come back to Finland maybe in two, three weeks when the hockey finals are on. Hopefully the two teams in the finals are not too far apart geographically because we'd like to follow the two teams back and forth and see every game in the series. Best case scenario is Ilves versus Dapara. They play in the same arena. <laughs> if we can get a seven game series in one arena, that would be amazing based on the memories we've had in those uh, hockey matches. Now, in the meantime, we are going to Sweden today on the overnight boat, which I guess is a bit of a party boat, which is exciting. Although my partying days are behind me, maybe I'll have one beer with the young whippersnappers and then I'll hit the, hit the bedtime early. But in any case, let's check the boat. We're leaving in a few hours and we're gonna find our room and immigration and everything. Hmm, I wonder which boat is ours. <laughs> I think it might be the top one on the list. Yes. Okay. So far, so good. Two people, two tickets. Yeehaw. We got a pirate and a polar bear, I think, or a seal. <laughs> so fun. Pretty great. Thank you for the kids and I'll give it a Ta-da! My gosh, it's like inside a mall. Okay, let's figure out where we are. So I tell you what, I am a Canadian guy, admittedly completely uneducated in the world of Schengen. <laughs> what language is Schengen in? Is that a word? No, it's an area. It's an area? I think so. Really? Yeah. In any case, it's no customs, no border patrol, no. very easy process. Yeah. And this is the easiest I've ever gone from one country to a different country. <laughs> Still I thought it was going to be an hour yeah. down there, like an airplane Finland, ride, where they got to x-ray uh, your bags and stuff. No way. Right. Right on, the, right on the boat. Finland and Sweden, they're still Schengen. And we'll explore more of this place later on, but it looks like a mall right now, a shopping mall. I mean, you walk on, he says your room's on the ninth floor, and you go, ninth floor? <laughs> yeah, true. It's so big. Wow. This is my first time in a cruise. Anyway. Okay, let's go in an elevator. Oh gosh. <laughs> we got this machine. All right. Here we go. Is it like this, really? Oh, really? Oh no. Yes. Okay. Look at our room. Small. But it's all right. We got two beds here. And we got the sea view later on. It's still city view right now. Oh man, we got hoist view. Look at this thing. <laughs> I got lifeboat view. Oh yeah, view. lifeboat view. Lifeboat hoist view. I'll take it, man. Not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, oh, his and hers beds? Yeah. By the way, in Finland, if you book an Airbnb, they'll have one big bed with two blankets. That's I true. I love that idea. What? Two mattresses, a bit far away. Like one, one mattress, blanket. two blankets. I'm a changed man. <laughs> what a nice to kick in the sleep. It's, it's a slow start. Turn on the lights, babe. And we got a TV right here, a small TV. A little mirror and a bathroom here. Oh. Manageable. I mean, it's, it's alright. Very good. And the cruise costs 188 euro with breakfast each no for the room got it two people there you go and dinner dinner costs an extra 46 euros each 46 euros each yeah it's a buffet dinner. does dinner come with 26 euros it's <laughs> a lot really we'll see if it's uh if it's worth it later pro tip could have been bring some hesburgers or something but oh gosh <laughs> anyway, this looks like a good experience. The boat yeah. looks nice. Yeah. Let's go check it out, man. Let's go check it out. Look at the high seas, man. Ah, they even have a game room for the kitties. Look at that. Air hockey and uh, racing. <laughs> and if you guys can see, just across from us is the Viking Line cruise. We are in a Silja Tallink cruise. Uh, there are two cruises that goes to Stockholm and it's an overnight cruise and uh, you only got two choices and we chose this one. I heard that. I'm not sure if it's true. Viking Line is more of a party boat 
and the one we're on is more of like a family friendly cruise but I believe we have just passed by so Manlina Fortress although unfortunately it's very foggy outside so it was hard to see nonetheless we are on our way to Stockholm it will be a 17 hours or so journey so it's a long journey it's an overnight journey and hopefully we won't get seasick uh, but we're excited to be in Sweden and let us know what to do in Sweden if you got any recommendation in the meantime Steve is taking a nap we did walk around the cruise a little bit but there is nothing interesting or exciting happening yet I think most of the entertainment will happen later on at night we did see a lot of shops and also pubs and even a casino but now we're just chilling until our buffet later so let's enjoy the ride and so unfortunate because in the summertime i would guess people will be out and about here in the patio drinking their beers drinking their cocktails but it's just way too cold right now except that guy is wearing shorts and t-shirt he's a little crazy although there is a sauna somewhere somewhere here so um, maybe he's going to the sauna hey steve Whoa. wake up it's time for dinner <laughs> So I've seen people carrying cases of alcohol in turns out there is a tax-free shop here. Look at this. The price for a 24 cough is 20 euros. This one. Is it cheap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good? You found the best deal, no? Yeah. 20 euros for 24 cans. Actually, you can get uh, 96 cans of Carlsberg and it comes with a small trolley. I think it comes mm. with a cart to bring your four cases of beer, 86 euro. Same same idea. Yeah, people it's a bit are big for us, but it's a good deal. The store <laughs> is packed, and everybody on the boat is carrying a case of beer with them. Yes, that's or two. Right. Yeah, or a small trolley. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, long drinks for 32.90 for 24 cans. Yeah, like one fifty each. Good deal. Good deal here. It's a busy busy store and they even have candies and chocolate I love this one chocolate filled mint candies it's so good I actually got it after we ate at the wing place in Tampere so good oh and the price is 620 euros for 350 grams very good and even Talink own chocolate i think this is chocolate yes milk chocolate the nicest greetings from the captain very nice i think it's about not sure which one is which 360 euros actually i was wondering if they drink this in finland oh. i was wondering if it was a scenario like foster's beer in australia or that's the australian beer in canada right no one in australia drinks it uh, 17 euros for a big bottle of Finlandia vodka, and it's like an empty section. It's I think they drink it. Back when I was a kid, back when I was partying, Jaeger. That's and actually then, medicine. And then, love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to eat. To start our dinner. We only made it to the salad bar. We made it to the salad There's bar. Too many people out there to get food. Yeah, the line is too long. I will go out on a limb to say every single room is full. Yeah. There's no way they could handle more of a crowd than this. We've got to be a max capacity. So many people, yeah. But I will say this. Self-serve crouton bar. Ah. Not bad. They have good salad at least. Good crouton. Hopefully you will make it to the meat section. <laughs> we gotta wait for that. I think there's 250 people waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> and finally got my meat main dish. We got some, I think, roast beef, salmon, roasted potatoes, and lasagna in my plate. Very good. Food is good, no? Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. 
but the lineup is huh? ridiculous. But the food is good. <laughs> yeah, thanks for getting me food. Ivana shared with me because I was lazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, dinner is over. I'll tell you this, pretty good food. Mm -hmm. Overall, it was quite good food. And I guess all the lights are on here in the main floor. It's pretty nice place, especially at night. It's like part mall, part hotel, and part casino. Right. All wrapped into one. And it's funny because this looks like the ground floor, but this is in fact the seventh floor. Mm -hmm. Because below this is a bunch of car park if you want to bring your vehicle from uh, Finland to Sweden. So the boat is huge and it's time for a show. Let's go. Tell you what heck of a show that lady could really sing we can't put too much of her audio naturally because we'll get copyright infringement but she was a heck of a singer some nice dancers and a couple performers with their feet in the air all twisted up like a pretzel very impressive although i got more back pain just watching because it's almost nerve-wracking just watching though now there is a full nightclub going on but as you guys can probably guess i'm not feeling so hot today typically i have a one day bug and I have a three day bug so I'm hoping this is a one day bug and I'll be fresh tomorrow because we will show you guys breakfast as well as take you to Stockholm and see our accommodation and the pricing and stuff and so I've been feeling a bit crabby today shout out to the lovely Ivana for taking care of the vlog today <laughs> you're a vlog champ Ivana you're a pinch hitter today and so we'll see you guys we'll tomorrow morning soon. I'll feel better tomorrow I feel okay just I'm not in any shape to go drink beer and dance because one, I can't dance, and two, I feel sick. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Night night! Ladies and gentlemen, a new day is upon us. A new dawn has arisen, and I am feeling fine. Now, Good. the breakfast, I would say only okay. It's aisles and aisles and shelves and shelves of cold cuts. Oh. You know all those cold cuts are wishing they were salami. It's a lot of stuff out there and they have Karelian pie. Listen, I'm a fan of Karelian pie. But this is not a replacement for pancakes, okay? Where's the pancakes? Maple syrup? I still saw one with pancakes. No, I must yeah. have missed it. Okay, but you're gonna do a reconnaissance <laughs> mission you're gonna find the pancakes because on a day like today, pancakes is the only answer. Now, I wasn't talking much yesterday and I think I went through withdrawals. I got a lot to say. One, you can drink the water in the bathroom from the tap mm -hmm. of our bedroom. I don't know if this is surprising to anyone else. This is the first time for me on a boat this big. In fact, it's probably not a boat, probably a ship. Right. First time on a ship. Uh, I really thought it was gonna be a water bottle affair. <laughs> so the water, I guess they're sucking water from beneath the boat and just cleaning it and putting it right in my mouth. They can't have a fresh water tank. Too I have big, no right? idea. Anyway, they got water and the shower in the bathroom. So nice. Piping hot, great pressure. When you're feeling a little sick like I was yesterday, Oh, hot shower before bed was amazing. Uh -huh. Loved it. Now, big shout out to Ivana because yesterday I looked Ivana right in the face and I said, Ivana, I'm going to make the vlog today. No problem. I just need a five minute nap. Then I proceeded to fall asleep before the boat left the dock. I was sleeping <laughs> for three or three and a half hours right until dinner. Right. So massive shout out to Ivana. It's like I would say, more than just a tremendously pretty <laughs> face. Uh, now, to be clear, if you put your suitcase on its wheels, it won't roll back and forth. Uh -uh. It is a ship after all. Um, but there is a vibration you can feel from the engine, right? Yes, a I'm not a fan. A, oh, I love it. I'm not a fan of the oh, vibration. I love the vibration. <laughs> you guys know, the best place I could ever fall asleep is on a train that's moving. The louder, the better. Uh, debilitating tinnitus. But I would say second best place to sleep on a ship. Mm. Tuck yourself in tight in those blankets. It's very reminiscent of the embryonic sack. It's like a little cocoon. It's just great. I'm a big fan sleeping last night. I slept three hours during the day and all the way through the night and I'm a new man. So there you have it. Also, last night we watched a nice movie on the television. Yeah. Which I guess they had the TV there because there's no Wi-Fi in the room. Right. Only Wi-Fi in the public areas, which means you must protect your devices. Take it away, Ivana. So whenever you use public Wi-Fi, we suggest you to use VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it basically acts like a digital wall preventing anyone from stealing your personal information. We have been using Surfshark VPN ever since our Facebook account got hacked. 
as content creators, Facebook was one of our main source of income. But unfortunately, we can't even access or even delete our Facebook page until now. The worst part was that our Facebook account was linked to our bank account and the hacker went on a shopping spree. Mm -hmm. Lesson learned when I use VPN. And I know many of you guys also do online shopping either through Facebook or other online sites where basically your credit card info is on display online. We personally do a lot of travel bookings online including the reservation for this cruise. And we are now more comfortable doing a purchase online now that we know that we have extra protection from a VPN. And with a VPN, you can basically change the location of your device to anywhere in the world and you can actually get a cheaper deal online by just switching your location. With just the cost of a cup of coffee, you can protect yourself and get cheaper deals online. Get an exclusive shortcut deal right now by checking the link on our description and enter the coupon code JETFAM, J-E-T-F-A-M, to get an extra three months for free. There is no risk in trying with 30 days money back guarantee. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Look at that, I got the pancake. What? This is a pancake? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's a finished pancake. Finished pancake. Yeah. Maybe it's good. Maple syrup? Uh, raspberry. <laughs> and berries. I tell you what, I don't know what this is. But it's pretty good. <laughs> but it ain't pancake. I'm like a crap. I'm like a right. crap. I'm like crap you're right, you're right. Hello. <laughs> Finish berries? Mighty fine. Right? Yeah. That sour berry in the morning? Big fan. Finish berries. Come for the hoggy, stay for the berries. <laughs> mm. Wow. Check this place out. I tell you what, Yvonne and I have done a lot of camping in a place called Algonquin, which is a couple hours from Toronto. And this is like spitting image. I might even put some footage of Algonquin Park because with the blue water and then the sort of rocky islands all floating about with the evergreen trees on top. This is very camping in Toronto or yes. camping near Toronto-esque. Very familiar me, to us. It reminds me a little bit of home. A little bit of home, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, what a funny coincidence that yesterday I was feeling like crap and the weather was awful yesterday. Because honestly, the view on the top deck here mm -hmm. is, for me at least, one of the biggest selling points of taking the boat rather than flying to Stockholm. <laughs> True. I mean, the view is just great and it's kind of 360 degrees because both the front and the back of the ship have uh, no walls on the side, so you can look with no windows. It's pretty great up here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday I could not have done it. I was feeling crappy and the weather was bad anyway. So it kind of worked out actually. Yes, yes. The nice. sun is shining. The sun is shining and the breeze is kind of cool, but just beautiful. Very All the nice. cottages, very reminiscent of Canada. Just nice up here. So nice. Okay. Sweden, here we come. <laughs> You're funny, Ivana. Like I said, I got a lot to learn about Schengen. We're here. Yeah, we're here. I didn't even show nobody my passport. No. Nope. Just came right in. Mm -hmm. Like I own the place. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be passport, stamp and all this. No, no. Just yeah. come and go. Different country, one system. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah. Easy peasy. And there's even a metro here. I think we'll yeah. opt for the taxi because of the laziness factor. <laughs> all right. Taxi. Oh, check out our Airbnb. At least from the outside, it looks so good. It's this red one here on the left, Ivana. And actually, so many good looking buildings in Stockholm. I know we've seen... 0.001%, <laughs> but I would say first impressions, same like Helsinki, very respectable place. Where's all the graffiti, you know? Okay, tiny bit here. Outside of that, very respectable, clean and, and orderly. Full apartment tour. Don't blink or you'll miss it because it's uh, not the world's biggest Airbnb. But to be clear, our Airbnbs are not usually the world's biggest. Kitchen table, microwave and fridge, bedroom, no couch. Which is maybe not ideal, but it's okay for us. It'll be manageable. This place costs 100 Canadian per night, which is easy math, like 800 kroners. We'll write it on the screen in local currency and American. Funny that we are in the European Union, but we are not using the Euro. Here's your kitchen. Uh, 
no further analysis required it's pretty small i guess this is a proper toaster oven you could do baking and your two elements on top it's actually maximizing the space because it's incredibly small but it's got your oven and your uh stove top mm -hmm. and then microwave here kind of works as a kitchen and then i guess this is the bathroom nope <laughs> i guess this is the bathroom which is okay small and effective there you have it uh not bad overall it's really good location actually on the way in we saw what appears to be like a street party or uh, at the very least a pedestrian street yeah so maybe we'll check that out cool. good job ivana good booking Ooh. good booking okay. <sighs> let us know what to do in sweden in stockholm I think we'll do some hockey stuff and I don't know what else. Yeah, let us know. We're ready. <laughs> We're free birds. All right, let's go. Are you hungry at all? Yes. Let's go. I tell you what, we got lucky coming here today because for one, the weather is just beautiful. And for two, I guess this pedestrian Saturday happens every weekend, but we certainly didn't know about it. So we just showed up and everyone is out enjoying the beautiful weather. It's a very good first impression. I dig the Swedish coffee table facing the street. Nice, no? Nice, right? Usually facing your friend. Yeah. This one is kind of nice to watch the world go by. <laughs> Very nice. What a difference a 17 hour boat ride can make because here in Stockholm, spring has sprung. Everybody's out and about enjoying the patios. We got to learn the Swedish word for cheers, Ivana. Once I start feeling better, I'm going to be drinking some beer with some people who are. Surprisingly tall. Did you know <laughs> Swedish people so tall? Yeah. I didn't know. Really? Tall and blonde. Yeah. Like a supermodel. <laughs> so typically when we do these first arrival videos, we will go to a restaurant or a bar for dinner and we will have a beer and yuck it up a little bit. But I'm still feeling at least 40% sick. So we're gonna go home and make some dinner with broccoli because broccoli always make you feel better. So thanks for watching everybody. A bit of a short video today, but the Sweden series is starting now. Woohoo! Yahoo! Later.